it's about half past four, and um, I've woken up to the most fantastic dawn chorus. Um, I heard the odd branch scraping under the hull that I've been rafted up and swung around quite easily. as the sun comes up. Um, high tides about from 6.30, so I'll be away about 6.30, quarter to 7, something like that. GPS and log entries last night I worked out we covered 27 miles so far up to this point and if we add another 13 or so back down river today I think this will be a 14 nautical mile plus round trip. Um, the statistics are that I think we were averaging roughly 4.3 knots um, and the fastest we went was 5.2 knots and the slowest was um, 1.3 ready for departure, 45 minutes, and we've hit my 6am target. Makes a change. Uh, we're just going for a little potter upstream, um, see how far we can get, and then I'm going to call back for a quick morning ice cream and a walk along the riverside yard. Um, I think we've got plenty of tide at the moment, so it doesn't seem to be a problem. I might even call in at um, Cothill for a coffee stop again. God, it's ridiculous the amount of stuff I carry in our way. I carry way too much. If Keith Muscott on the DCA is right and dinghy cruising is backpacking on water, I'd need several alpacas to carry this lot. Oh my, that's high. are just in the middle of finishing off their neighbourhood development plan. Um, I read that they were looking at um, policies on heritage and ecology and, and residents' mental health and physical well-being, um, flood mitigation measures and, the most important one, uh, more affordable housing. This pottery is exquisite. If I buy any, her indoors is going to have my guts, she'll kill me. It is stunning stuff. Coffee time! Coffee, coffee, coffee! Come on, I need a latte! We're just ghosting along at the moment using uh, the jib and the mizzen. Um, drifting along. A knot and a half. Um, and we're coming up on Holden Key up ahead. So it's a really gorgeous, beautiful day. There's Holden Key. One of the famous Tehran River Valley um, key sites would have loaded agricultural produce to be taken down on the barges down to Plymouth. And they would have unloaded um, dockyard dung from the horses and the carts from the Royal Navy Yard and also from the city streets, the road sweepings, and that would have come up to fertilise the fields. Yours 
is a bit of a hassle. This is a lot easier. It's just not done. It does a lot of the spirit flicks. Thank you for joining us on this cruise series. Click subscribe and come and join us on the next one which will be based around Solcombe. We look forward to seeing you.